morning. I'm gonna do an update video on where I've been. Um, you can probably guess by the way I sound where I've been. I'm hoping this comes off very good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have laryngitis, so yeah, that's where I've been. <laughs> um, life update. <laughs> I'm trying to find, um, we're just going to use this glow up primer serum and Eric is sick and he shared the wealth I'm guessing, which is how I ended up with this. He has his um, allergies got out of control. I'm going to try to record the Christmas giveaway video after this. Um, this is going up on Monday, November 30th. Um, if y'all can hear me, let me know when I upload this so that I can put, I can add the microphone so maybe you could hear me better. Um, I've never put the microphone on here, so I don't know if it will catch everything. I don't know exactly what it'll do, but I want y'all to be able to hear me for the giveaway video. Um, I'm trying to put the giveaway video up before um, it gets too late so I can mail it out before Christmas. So, um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, I'm going to use some of this Tatcha silk canvas also. And obviously I'm not going anywhere, so I got a feeling I have to cancel a couple of doctor's appointments that I'm supposed to have this week because it's cold here all of a sudden and then um, I'm actually not sure if doing this video is going to end up making me have no voice at all. So we will see what happens there. It's always fun. This is the first. I was literally talking to Jason one day and it just stopped. <laughs> it was very scary. I've had a lost voice before, but it's never happened just all of a sudden like that. It's usually cracked. But um, I'm using the Perfusion Skin Feel Good Skin. And I'm like knocking everything over. It's been a minute since I've been up here. I haven't put on makeup since I lost my voice. Um, so this is actually, I want to feel human in a way. Um, And of course, now I'm the only one home. So Eric is acting out because I can't tell him to stop. <laughs> I do have a couple of questions I have to ask. Um, I bought some stuff the other day to go with the Christmas giveaway, but I don't think it'll, any of it will be here in time. So I'm thinking of doing an also a New Year's giveaway, like the day after Christmas or something posting it or a couple days after Christmas, posting a video of a New Year's giveaway. I'm hoping, or I could do it at the beginning of January and just have a larger um, January giveaway, or not knowing how next year is gonna be. I can um, save it for the um, autism giveaway. And the other thing with the autism giveaway is I found a book recently, technically two books written by an autistic little 13 year old in China. And um, it's nice to see it from his point of view. So um, I thought about adding one of them or both of them to the Chris, the autism giveaway. If y'all would be interested. I mean, I could, um, if you ask in the first comment, I will try to pin the name of the book. The first one I've read. I haven't read the second one. Uh, 
I love the way this looks on my skin. Um, but let me know if y'all are interested in the name of the books and I will try to get a hold of, I will not try. I think it's, um, why I jump. Yeah. Why I jump is what it's called. The one I'm reading. And he literally goes through and answers questions. I'm trying to get my concealer. I didn't realize I didn't pull it out. Um, I'm using the um, Age Rewind. I did shop at um, Ulta online and Sephora online. And I uh, also did some Best, Best Buy. Um, Boxy Charm stuff on Black Friday. Uh, that's where a lot of the giveaway stuff is coming from, those Black Friday sales um, for the next giveaway. Or, I don't know, my brain is hurting and trying to concentrate on talking where y'all could actually understand me is making it hard. <laughs> um, if y'all don't mind waiting for the giveaway till my voice is better, let me know. It may push it away um, at least a week. This could last a week, maybe two weeks. And we're only a few days in and it hasn't gotten any better. So um, yeah, there's that. I don't have COVID or nothing, I promise. I actually like the way this little, I believe this is a real tape. I can't remember what sponge this is. It's a velvet sponge. I like the way the um, concealer looks under my eyes with it. it. Looks nice. I mean, there's some creasing. All right, there's that. I'm not gonna use any bronzers or anything. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder and Translucent. I haven't used it yet and I just tried to grab some things I haven't used since their sales going on. So I can let y'all know what I think of these. At least first impressions. Mm -hmm. I meant to do this Friday and um, well, you can tell that wasn't gonna happen. It should have because my voice was a little better then, but I was trying to hope it would be better by the end of the weekend. And obviously that hope went out the window. We're gonna use this little brush right here to um, take some of this powder and sweep it under the eyes. And then we're gonna take the bigger brush and we're gonna do the rest of the face. The sun is gleaming in on me. It's nice that the sun is out. We had rain Friday, Saturday, and some of it yesterday, but not a lot. Uh, I had to take my brother somewhere Friday night and it made this worse because he doesn't have a car and it was raining and we didn't want my niece to get out in the rain. So, black shirt and powder don't mix. I am so sorry if y'all can't hear me. I just didn't want to disappear and I know not everyone follows me on Instagram so I didn't want to put anything on there. <coughs> anything on there that everybody wouldn't see but I wanted to talk to you and there's the phone so this is going to be fun let's see who it is I don't know who that is let me go ahead get back alright there was nobody um it was like a sales call or something like that so um I am going to try to finish this video. Okay. Um, the next thing we have 
I got this, um, I got another of those bite size elf videos. Um, bite size um, blushes. We're going to use that, but we're also going to use this nesting bad word face. And um, I just drank something so my voice is a little better. I have it sitting next to me in case it goes bad again. I'm going to use this light shade right here. There's a lot of fallout in this, but I like the color. Let's grab this little one. I'm just trying to add a little shadow. Don't you ever notice when you're sick and you put makeup on for the first time in a minute that you feel human again? Starting to look like me again. Not this pale little frail creature walking around the house. Um, I'm this one is in um, Spiced Apple. It's like a warm fall color. I'm only going to use the blush. Here we go. But I will swatch both of them for you. But I wanted to use this Becca. I got it at um, TJ Marshalls. It's um, Rose Quartz. The packaging looks like this. And the inside has like a little flower. And it's very pretty. It's right there. So we're going to take the Wet n Wild Unicorn Horn Brush here. Now on the giveaway, the rules have changed a bit because I want to make sure to follow the terms of service. So um, I'm going to prefer a lot of things. And um, I'll explain it in the video whenever I get to record it. Everything's falling over up here. All right, let's just go ahead and not talk about that. Um, has anyone else, what have y'all been watching lately like do you, is there anyone you can recommend because obviously I can't talk very well so it's nice to watch new creators or um, older creators um, I like watching video game ones and sims ones too because they're just so interesting I love playing the sims 
on my computer. If I could figure out how to screen record, I would record it for you one day. But I gotta figure out, I think I had to buy software for that. If you're interested, I will see what I can do and I can show you some things. I really do have a video coming up. I got some reusable storage bags and um, I wanted to show them to you. They're really good instead of in their gallon size you can't put any heat on them or anything because well they're reusable and they'll probably melt so but i do like them <laughs> we're gonna use the um that was the private society brow pencil we're gonna use the um gimme brow by benefit brow gel But I didn't want to just disappear on y'all because I don't know what's going on with my voice. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not getting better anytime soon. Because it was really bad last night and it's basically bad today. And it keeps drying up but you can't take any decongestants because it makes it worse and the sun is directly in my eyes but if I shut that Eric's gonna come in and open it so we're just gonna deal we're just gonna deal because we live in an autism household and I really do like the way this face looks all right um we're gonna use the e.l.f. putty primer it looks like this I think this is in what shade is this it doesn't say um, sand we're gonna take this little brush here I think this is dried out I would honestly say it is okay maybe not I hate trying to get all that stuff out of my throat. And I can't use a decongestant because it'll make my voice worse. Because it dries it all out. I don't know. I'm just following what the doctor told me. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it is dried out. Let's try it with our fingers, see if we get better. I like doing it with the brush because to me, it gets a better, flatter surface for the eyeshadow. Put some lip gloss on it. The eyeshadow I decided to use is the um, Wet n Wild Coffee Cat because it's a very pretty fall palette. Let me show it to you. Um, we're gonna go in. Let me know if you want to see some swatches of this and I will try to do some swatches in a future video. I'll show you the palette and all. Um, but this is just a chit chat. We're gonna go into the uh, third color on the second row. It's like a pinky color. Oh, that was probably a bad choice. That is a lot darker than I thought it was. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it right now. Wonderful thing about makeup is you can fix a mistake. So we're gonna take and clean this brush off a little. And we're just gonna blend across on that a few times. 
We're gonna take some of this lighter color on the third shade on the first row. Try to balance these out a little. This one just looks so dark. They look similar now, okay. All right, we're gonna go into a darker shade, which is the next one over right here. We're gonna try to put that in the crease. a different brush. There we go. Let's grab a, the concealer. I know that's not what is a good idea to use, but we're gonna just go ahead and try to do a cut crease real quick, see if we can fix this mistake I made. All right, so we got that done and we're gonna take I'm trying to see which one I wanna use the most. I think we're gonna use this shade right here. And we're gonna put it over that area that I just made. We're gonna take this brush. And we're gonna take that darker color that we used on the edge over there. We're gonna blend it over that. And then I wanna build it up right there on the outer corner. Let's grab a blending brush. I'm gonna take this whitish shade. And put it directly in the center like so. And then just kind of pat it out with this brush so that it kind of with that brush because it had that color on it. And in fact, looking at it, I would almost say that's a better choice. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry, I don't feel good. I'm not going anywhere. So we can screw this all up if we want. But I'm thinking, it's not really screwing it up. 
The only part that kind of is screwed up is the top part. Let's go ahead and grab a different blending brush. This is a Morphe R39. We're going to take like this whitish color that's at the top and we're going to try to calm this down. It's like a matte whitish color. I just kind of want to calm this orange down. I really do like the way that looks better. All right, so we're gonna take and put some across here. It doesn't look good right there. Fix that. Okay. Uh. All right, then we're going to take that white color, that shimmery white on this brush and we're just gonna put it on this I don't know why it's not even I am not gonna lie Having hooded eyes makes this especially difficult. There, now it's even. And the sun shining through on me is not helping. What happens if I shut this off? You can't see nothing, so we'll just turn it down. I know why this side is brighter. That's because I didn't use that other shade in it. So we're just going to take a little bit of that and just kind of darken it a little. And then they could be two different sides. I'm done messing with it. Let's take some of this. This is that dark shade that I put in the crease on the outer corner on this side. The sun is really trying to mess with me. Let's take some of this and go ahead and blend. I'll have to use this again when my brain is working better. Um, but I really do like the way it's working. I mean, they're very pigmented. Obviously, I can't get it to go back to where I wanted it to go. We're taking the lighter shade and just pulling it a little underneath. I will take a little bit of the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca and put it on the inner corner on both sides. Not that it really needs it. And on the brow bone. And um, let me know if y'all are willing to, if y'all don't mind waiting. I don't know if it'll make it only a week. I will let you know if you're international. Um, I prefer you to have a PayPal um, so that I could send you um, some money if you win. 
and I, I don't need to know if you're international so I could pick a, inter, a U.S. winner and an international winner. And um, we're going to use, that was uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Blossom Matte Lipstick. And this is the uh, Speak Out Morphe Lip Gloss. It's a really pretty. Like sparkle shade. And we're gonna use the Laura Geller mascara. I should have put liner on, but I don't. This is the Elf Dewey Setting Spray, and I I went looking for it on their site for their thing. It looks like they have a different one, and I'm not going to recommend it until I've tried it. This one I love. I don't know if they changed the formula on it, though. Let me go ahead and pull my hair down, and let me know if y'all want to wait and me save my voice and hope it comes back, or if you want me to try to get it up tomorrow so it can be up as soon as possible. Um, I love y'all. I hope you have a great day and I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing better than me. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.